In this video, I will show you how to encrypt passwords used with 360Eyes. When you install 360Eyes with the wizard, there are passwords populated in the 360Eyes parameter file. They're encrypted in the param file. There are a few scenarios where you would need to do this on your own. This is the process you would follow to encrypt any password that's used in 360Eyes. This will allow you to, instead of using a plain text password, you can use the encrypted password. So this is the command. Um, you're passing it to Java, you need your SDK lib folder, and then you provide the password and uh, it will encrypt it for you. So this is all done on the server. There is a jar file that does the encryption and it is part of the 360i's installation. So you will do all of this from the server where 360i's is installed. So let's go to the server. Here we are on the server. I would just create a text file to save all of the parameters. I find that's easiest. Then you can save it, rerun it if you need to. And these are the parameters that we need to pass. The first one is Java. So if your Java home is set in your environmental variables, you don't need to set the path for Java. But if it's not set, you'll need to, to set the path. If this server has business objects installed, then Java is installed with business objects and you can use that that Java. You just need to um, give the path for the Java executable. So I'll show you where mine is. I have the um, business objects installed in the default folders. So yours may be slightly different, but it will be pretty similar. But you know, you may have it installed in the D drive. You may have different folders where you've installed business objects. Um, so these are the defaults. So this needs to, the paths need to reflect what's in your environment. Uh, so I have business objects installed here. Okay, so the Win64, SAP JVM, and the bin directory. So this is where Java is. So I'm going to copy this entire path and we'll paste it in here. And then I'm going to put quotes around the entire path because I have spaces in the path, so you need those quotes. And I'm going to add the Java. Okay. Okay, so we'll leave the the memory settings, leave that. Okay, so the next next path we need is this SDK lib. Okay. This is the location of the lib the business objects libraries. So let's get that path. And again it's under business objects. And it's going to be under the Java lib folder. Okay? Uh, so you want that entire path. We're going to paste that in between those quotes. Okay, so now we've got that path, um, the jar file, and the last thing we need is our password. So put in your password, whatever password you want to encrypt, provide that. And the next step is to open a command window. Okay, I'm going to right click and select run as administrator. You may want to do that in your environment. Okay, so now we're going to go to the directory where 360Eyes is installed. I'm going to go to the tools directory. That's where the jar file is. Okay, so I'm going to copy this entire string. Go back to the command prompt. Paste that into the prompt hit return and here's my encrypted password so that entire string ENC there's an open parent all that whole string and then a close parent so that entire string is my encrypted password so you can use that anywhere you um, need to provide a password for 360i's and you don't want to provide the plain text password this is how you encrypt it so I would just save this file you can save it rerun it anytime you need to Provide the, you know, if you have a new password, ne changes next month, provide the password, run, run that again, and um, you'll get an encrypted password.